today's adventure is to a Linga Linga waterfall. It's in the north part of Bali. I had to get a driver. And that's about two and a half hours north of here. A bit of a trek once you get there as well. Okay. Hello. Hey, how are you? It's over. Hey. How are you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Martin. Nice to meet you. Okay, Hello. nice. <laughs> so we're gonna go. We're gonna go to a Linga Linga waterfall. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, before from here, but enjoy. Yeah. Don't all right. Sleep, right. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Yeah. First thing though is coffee. So after Martin and I got our coffee, we were ready to go. And the scenery and the journey to North Bali is just as amazing as the actual destination. As you can see right here, the scenery is breathtaking. The elevation starts going up and there were so many cool things to see along the way. We ran into this lady across the street who had this really cool looking thing. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Like that? What's it? You see? You see the camera? It's a bike? Yeah. Smell? No? no, it's good. Oh, okay. He just tried to bite me. Okay. Do they what? bite? What is that? This is a luwak. 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 This like eating a copy. Like this copy. Uh, oh. They eating copy. You know luwak copy? Oh, you're making the coffee beans. Mm. So apparently the story goes, back in the day when the Dutch East India Company and the Dutch colonized Indonesia, they wouldn't allow the actual farmers to try the coffee they were farming. So the farmers noticed that these Luwiks were actually eating the coffee, the coffee fruit and pooping it out and then it actually does something, it transforms in their digestion and it makes really good coffee. But apparently it's not very good for the animal and it's considered an ethical practice now. So. It's no danger. No, no. We're only halfway to the waterfall, so we had to keep going, and then eventually we came across this iconic gate called the Handara Gate. Is it actually a traditional Hindu gate, and it symbolizes um, an entrance to the temple, and it was very important in Bali culture. And after that, we came across all these little guys. The type of monkeys are called long-tail macaques. I think I pronounced that right, and they tend to steal your phone, so I was warned to keep my phone close to me because they like to steal food as well. And uh, But they are definitely adorable, and there's a little baby just there peeking his head up. There, you can barely see him for a second. I made it to a Linga Ling waterfall. It's incredible. Look at that, it's crazy. Okay, what's wrong? Uh, the water has come from the spring. The spring? Yeah, in the top there is in the jungle. We have so many spring water. Oh wow. <laughs> is someone sliding down there? Yeah. Wow, so that's the place where we can do it. Really? Take the spring water from the jungle and bring by the pipe to every house. Yeah. So when we want to spring the water, just drink it. <laughs> we have so many spring water. Wow. So we take that by the pipe and bring the pipe to every house. Woo! It's amazing. Wow. Look at that. Drink. Is 
I guess the guide was saying that seven people have died already on these waterfalls. Are they uh, like they going without the guide here? And yeah. They don't know where's the place we can drink, like jumping and sliding. And they do it like uh, over there. We have some places that are very nice where we can jump. Yeah. But they don't know it. Is that this rock in the bottom of the water? Right. And just uh, jumping with the head first and hit the head is here. Oh god. I'm gonna I wanna go jumping and see, but he's he's gonna tell me where to jump. He's got five meters, ten meters, and fifteen meter cliffs to jump and he says it's he's gonna show me the right spot where there's rocks and where there's not rocks. <laughs> 